Hundreds of visitors spent a bright, sunny Saturday recently touring the operational hub of the Honolulu Rail Transit Project, joining friends, family, and neighbors for Hart's Train Community Day. What do you think of Train? Uh, train is, seems very nice. It looks cool. Nice, it's very nice. The seats are comfortable, it's wide enough. I like the bike racks, it allows a lot of flexibility where it extends the range that you could actually go without a car, I like that. My husband and I were excited about you know getting on the, the rail. Besides getting up close and personal with one of Hart's state-of-the-art driverless trains, visitors also learned more about the rail project overall. Many of them also lined up to receive their very own holo card the universal fare payment system for Oahu public transportation. You know, the opportunity to actually come up into a community day like today, get up on the, the actual train and see what it's all about, see the features on this train, I think it's really vitally important. I know it's going to be going through the airport, so I like, I, I can see actually going, going to the airport, leaving my car at home and actually being able to bring luggage aboard. With all there was to see and do during train day, Still, the star of the show was Hart's 260-foot-long, fully automated rail car. Visitors can't wait to hop on and get out of Honolulu's infamous traffic nightmares. I mean, if school and UH and everything's in, uh, yeah, over an hour, hour 15, and, and you can drive from uh, Kona to Hilo in an hour and a half. By the time you get home, you don't want to do anything. Just an unpleasant way to spend the day. We need something else. We need, we need an alternative. It's not going to answer everything, and there needs to be other things, but you, this is just part of the solution. People have been living with the construction impacts all these years. Uh, you know, it's never fun to have construction going on. To get to the point where we can actually have people use the system, experience it, and start to understand the benefits, I think it's a game changer. And before long, riders will get that chance with limited passenger service across the ever most 10 miles of the project scheduled to hit the tracks in late 2020.